and in an instant, I became a New Yorker. I felt a, a tremendous sense of kinship. That attack was aimed at me and my neighbors and my friends and at all of us together. And it brought the city together in a remarkable way. But you know, if you would have told me a week before that that I would go out by an American flag and hang it from my window, I would have said, I don't think so. And I felt compelled to do that. And uh, it changed my understanding of my relationship to New York and to America. This is the built equivalent of a moment of silence. This idea of absence, of making visible and present what is no longer here. Think of these sort of narrow urban canyons and emerging from them, like emerging out of the, the mouth of a narrow valley onto this vast open plain and, and encountering this unexpected forest, close to 400 oak trees, and walking across the street. And I think the moment that you step onto the Memorial Plaza, you will feel that you're in a place that is both in New York, but unlike the rest of New York. So which streets are going to go through? Is Liberty here that we're on? So this is, we're walking uh, west right now on Liberty Street. Well, you'll be able to just walk down Liberty we'll Street and enter. To, right, yeah, exactly. The challenge for us was to try and get a, a very clear and strong visual effect with a minimal amount of water. Think of like the water coming out of a garden hose and imagine a few hundred of them all in a row, one after another after another. And as that water falls down, uh, about halfway down that 30-foot fall, the clarity of those individual strands dissipates uh, and is lost, and the water is sort of becomes this much more diffuse tapestry. Um, and I think there's something quite beautiful about that. That was not uh, sort of an a priori intention, but I saw something right. in it that I wanted to embrace, which was this notion of both individual loss and this collective identity. And here we are at uh, the South South Pole. Yeah. I mean, look up and you see the sky. Yeah, yeah. And the balance for me was not to sort of step aside and, and disassociate ourselves from the city, but to create something that was both in and of the city, but also an opportunity to sort of look at the city that surrounds us in a, in a different light. So we're actually standing within the tower footprint and, you know, defining that envelope is, is done here as quietly with the location of the trees. So we didn't want to sort of put a marker on the ground or a sort of a, a line that said here it was, but we at the same time wanted to find a way to acknowledge that. And did you always imagine the trees would be in this sort of strict grid? If you uh, look to the east or west, you see them sort of snapping into these beautiful yes. long LA's. But if you look north and south, that order completely Well, they get more random. What is interesting to me is, in the, as you stand even a few feet away from this void, you don't really sense it. And it's not right. until you're right up at the very edge right. that it seems to open up right under you. It's something that you feel right in your gut. Exactly. And it's going to be a very powerful moment, that moment of first arriving at the edge of this void and encountering the names.